Let's see how we can use generative AI with a Python program to create a novel or something longer, 26 pages in a PDF file. You can see it here. It also creates sort of the cover. Now, probably might want to do some further prompt refinement. It's actually doing a picture of the book, but I mean, I don't know. You could, you could have a picture of a book as part of the cover art, certainly, but I told it to create a spy thriller. So Shadows of Deception in the international spy thriller seasoned intelligence officer Claire Donovan. So I guess that's Claire right there. So let's see how we build this. It is it creates a table of contents and all the various chapters. So I went ahead and ran this ahead of time. It does assume that you're using OpenAI. So you'll want to make use of the key to put in your OpenAI key. You can see I've already granted it access. And what this will do is LLM writes a book. So we're going ahead and we're creating our GPT-4.0 model. And we create this simple function here that just queries the large language model. So you send it a prompt, it gets you the response back from the large language model. We're also creating a method here called render dolly3. Here you pass in a prompt, the file name, and the height and width. And this will go ahead and generate what your prompt said to generate. It gets the image URL and basically downloads it from there and is able to then save it to a file name if you, that, that you're going to use to embed into the book. And I also have it show you the image. Here I'm giving it the subject, International Spy Thriller. So it's going to go ahead and create everything else. So the first call to the LLM asks it to generate a random title. Then we ask it to generate a random synopsis based on the title. And now that we've got the synopsis, we're going to use that to the synopsis. We're going to use that to generate the cover art, which we do right here. We created just at 768 square. And now we request the table of contents. Notice I'm asking for them in a very specific format. If you don't do this, it's going to say like chapter one, colon, stuff like that. It's harder to parse. I just want it separated by pipes. And then you'll have all of that. And then we just convert all of these chapters into a list of titles. The title of each chapter. Because now we're creating a function called render chapter. And what it's going to do is write a chapter and I have the prompt there describing it. And you can see I run it here and we just print it out. But we're going to run this and attach those on the end to a PDF that's going to ultimately be written. So here we go ahead and we create the book. We're going to basically just add strings to it in Markdown. We're going to loop over all of the table of contents, but actually before that, that's where we put the image in. We read the image and we are going to actually base64 encode it. This, is, this seemed to be, to me, the most reliable way to put this into the markdown file. Then we loop over all the chapters and render them one by one by one. You can see them here. This part takes some time to run through. This code's relatively simple. It simply takes the markdown and generates a PDF for it. And that's what I was just showing you at the beginning. And you can certainly use this to download the image. So this shows how you can take the book code that we did before, which just generated the text, and have it generate the markdown and a potential cover image. So thank you for watching the video and please subscribe to the channel and give it a like if it was useful to you. Thank you very much.